Are you a CBSE student who is studying 9th, 10th and plus 1 plus 2 higher secondary grades? And are you worried about the study materials? So there is a solution for you. Just visit knowledgebytezz.wordpress.com where you can access study materials for all the classes right from 9th, 10th, plus 1 and plus 2 for all the subjects. So what are you waiting for? Visit knowledgebytezz.wordpress.com to access loads of study materials and also get updates about the latest news and information from CBSC. Hello everyone, welcome to the another episode of Knowledge Byte channel. Today, I have brought an interesting episode about one of the technological update in one of the app which we use in our everyday life. Wait a minute, which app you are using in everyday life? You can guess it. I guess you are right, that is nothing but Zoom app. So this Zoom app has become very very popular since the pandemic and it's been used for it's been used by everybody right from the office professionals to the teachers and the students for the online classes today this zoom has raised one of the best feature update with loads of features with loads of plugins added in it so let's get right into the show to explore more about these plugins. Now let us open the Zoom app. As you can see here in the Zoom app, one of the most important updates which I was also expecting eagerly because usually when I conduct exams via Zoom, I have this problem with the timer. I may not be able to keep up the timing for the examinations which I used to conduct through online. Now Zoom has added another tab which you can see here, it is nothing but the Zoom apps and when you click on the discover option, you can see a lot of apps which they have added. It is nothing but it is something like a simple simple plugins, small plugins. One of the interesting app which I was just exploring right now is about the timer. So when you click on the timer, you can see here this is one of the small timer app which is developed by the zoom if you want to add this timer in your zoom what you need to do is you just have to click on add now you can see here as you can see in the description what they have given this timer app is one of the sleek countdown animation app and also it is like a water like alarm when the time is up so what it helps you is in case if you are conducting any exam through zoom or if you are trying to conduct any quiz through zoom or if you are conducting a meeting time bound meeting so what you can do is you can just keep a timer for 5 minutes 10 minutes or even up to 100 minutes you can conduct so once you set the timer the timer will be visualized when you are on a meeting or when you are taking the classes or anything and once the time is about to get over it will give you a notification so isn't it interesting right so let us see how this feature works so what we need to do is we just have to click add button it will take some time to install so once we click add button it will take you to the zoom portal in the website here you need to log in using your zoom id and password So once you log in inside this, <clears throat> so it will just uh, ask you for some authorization that I am authorized to use this particular app inside the Zoom. So I just have to click authorize and then it will launch you the Zoom app. So now the app is completely installed, it is embedded inside this Zoom app. Isn't it interesting, right? So let us see how this timer works. So as you can see here, this timer app is installed and it is loading. 
so once you install any apps when you go into the apps section so inside the my apps it will show you all the apps which you have installed now you can see here it shows a lot of options like minutes seconds reset button start button and then volume if you want to keep the alarm on you can i mean you can unmute this option and if you want if you don't want any alarm you just have to mute this and now here by default it is giving you a lot of options like 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes or 20 minutes something like that so if you want to keep a timer for 30 minutes or if i want to keep a timer for 5 minutes i just have to click 5 minutes and then i have to click start and when i click on start meeting option so the timer will run alongside so if you want to pause this timer i can simply pause this and again i can reset this timing i have started this meeting Now you can see here, so I have started the meeting. Now the timer app which you have installed will also be embedded along with this um, Zoom. Now you can see here if you want to fix the timing for 5 minutes, you can keep the timing for to 5 minutes or if I can want to keep the timing for 10 minutes, I can keep 10 minutes or whatever so on and just I have to click start. Now you can see here when I am conducting Zoom meeting, the timer will also run alongside and it will be visible to everybody. So while in case if you are conducting any exams or if you are conducting any quiz, and if that particular question is a time bound question like for example if the child has to answer within 30 seconds and after that you are supposed to change the slide this timer app will definitely help you to do so so this will not only enable you to keep up the timing and will also be helpful for the audience or the people who are inside the meeting they will also be aware of the timing and they can able to uh, do these things properly and if you want to expand you can expand collapse all these things are there and then you can also share uh, some audio inside this timer app so that it will show it like a it will remind you like an alarm for you right so it, isn't it interesting so likewise there are loads of apps which is available inside this zoom so about the other apps we will explore in the next episode so till then take care and have a good day bye bye if you like this video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.